We as Christian young men have a very unique opportunity to really impact the rest of our lives. Uh, it's also a heavy responsibility because if we don't get it right, well, it could also impact the rest of our lives. Hey guys, I am Caleb with Nebraska Farm Boy. Today I want to talk about some areas that I think that we could all be working on, myself included and maybe especially, uh, so that we're actually you know, living out the calling that God has for us and we're actually making the best use of the time that he has given us. So the first thing I kind of want to talk about is learning hard skills. Learning hard to learn skills when you're young because uh, when you're young you have a, a unique opportunity to uh, learn these things because you've got a little bit more time, I, or at least I do. Maybe you don't think you do, but you probably have more time than you think you do, okay? Uh, you've got extra time to be devoting to these uh, unique learning opportunities. Uh, I'll give a little example of my own life. You know, uh, I've been recently learning to blacksmith. Now, some of you know that I'm a cold steel cutter kind of guy. I use an angle grinder and I make knives. Uh, but recently I've taken the jump and I've gotten into blacksmithing. It's ugly. Guess, <laughs> believe me, it's, it's not an easy thing to learn. Uh, but you know, it's something I've started learning now because I've got a little bit extra time. In the future, I probably wouldn't have the time and I probably wouldn't devote that time to uh, learning such a difficult craft that really doesn't have uh, a ton of payback um, up front, you know. Uh, it can be difficult to justify that, but when you're younger, you have time, uh, you want to be doing something fun anyways, you know, why not learn a skill like that that actually does have real life value, um, you know, in the future, when once you've actually mastered the skill. Uh, the same can be said for, uh, like, um, protector skills, like we're ta we talk about. Um, oftentimes, I see uh, the older generation is usually a little bit less inclined to learn those kind of skills uh, than the younger generation because, you know, we're young, we got all the spunk and everything, <laughs> you know, we're, we're, I don't mean to say we're picking for a fight, but sometimes we are. You know, it, it's it's one of those things. We It's more natural. It comes more natural to the young guy. Uh, and he... And um, it's something that uh, will value, uh, will definitely be of value in the future. I hope you never have to use those skills. But if you did, you would really be glad that you had uh, learned those when you were young and you actually enjoyed doing that. You had time to do that. Okay, so that's kind of you know you know learning the hard skills, learning the hard to learn skills uh, that maybe don't have a lot of payoff in the immediate future. Now, in doing that, and I'm going to roll into my next point using this last little point off of my last point. Uh, you don't have to spend a lot of money doing that. Uh, actually, uh, my blacksmithing is partially so ugly because I've literally done it for free. I, I haven't spent a red cent thus far um, in my blacksmithing. I took an old car muffler, uh, knocked some pieces out of it, used that as my forge. Uh, I've literally made myself a three pound sledge because I only had an eight pound sledge with a long handle and I needed something smaller uh, and yet larger than like your normal nail hammer and, and hammer kind of thing, you know? So I've literally started out for free to learn this skill and you can do that with all kinds of different skills including protector skills and whatever else you want to learn uh, and you got time. You got time to be ingenuitive and think about those things when you're young and it's also a whole skill set in and of itself being able to make this kind of stuff uh, without spending money, which is my second point. You should make as much money when you're young as you can, and yet you should save as much money as you can when you're young. Okay, so I know a lot of guys who actually make a fair amount of money uh, who are young, but they don't have hardly a red cent because they spent all that money. And it's kind of, you know, it goes in this vicious cycle. You know, maybe most people don't want to work these days. They don't even want to make money in the first place. And then, but they still want to spend uh, all kinds of money. Um, and so basically it's created this huge problem, okay? So you're never, you know, you, you're digging yourself into a deep hole if that's the kind of uh, mindset that you're building for yourself. Uh, really what we should be working on is making as much money as we can, reasonably, and uh, and then, you know, spending it wisely or not at all, you know? Uh, it's okay to deny yourself some stuff, okay? Even a good thing, something that maybe is good in the future, if you buy it too soon, it's going to be a bad thing. Or if you don't spend enough time thinking about something, it'll end up being a bad thing. Ask me how I know. So, you know, that's another thing. You know, being wise with finances and earning money. I think that's an important thing that we should be focusing on as young men. Money isn't everything, but it's important because you need to live. Now to kind of carry on with that theme, learning good saving habits, learn good habits and good attitudes when you're young. And uh, like I said, I'm not 
telling you all this because I'm perfect. I'm just telling you all this because this is on my mind because probably because I'm not perfect. So basically what I mean by that is when you're young and you develop good habits, those are going to carry through the rest of your life, right? When you're young and you develop bad habits, those are going to explode throughout the rest of your life. They're going to get bigger and bigger and bigger. So it's important that we are fighting even the small, little, insignificant bad habits in our life because they only grow as we get older. Uh, at least that's what my short existence on Earth has taught me. So basically, it's important that we're actually developing good habits, uh, good, you know, just in everything, you know, from brushing your teeth to uh, how you respond to people, how you respond to difficult circumstances, taking on hard tasks, um, you know, good work ethic, and all kinds of things. All that, you know, is something that we should really be fighting for, especially when we're young, because that's going to develop into our old, uh, it's going to carry through into our older years, and it could have some pretty serious or very good consequences, okay? Kind of along that line, the next point would be wrestle through hard truth. Don't just ignore hard truth. Don't just skip over hard truth. Uh, you know, a good habit, to go back to the last point, is reading your Bible every day. If you're a Christian young man, I think that you should be doing that. It's not that difficult. I've been doing it since I was nine years old. Now, I may not have always read a lot in the Bible. Once, when I was at Grandma's house, I forgot my Bible, but I dug up this old King James Bible from her bookshelf. I couldn't hardly understand anything of it. Or in my, I don't think it was Old King James. It was something even more under, uh, un understandable, um, and I couldn't understand hardly any of it, but I did my Bible reading, so, you know, yay for me. No, but really, uh, you know, Bible reading is a very important habit. It's very important to me. Uh, I haven't always, you know, been as dedicated to it as I should be, uh, but I always have done it. So, uh, but, but, <laughs> all that is for nothing if you aren't actually going to wrestle through hard truths when you hit them, okay? If you're just reading through the Bible to get through from cover to cover, done that several times, you know, you can't, it's not going to do you any good unless you actually, when you hit a hard truth, you're actually going to wrestle through that. Because unless you answer these questions now, they're going to come up later and, you know, jaded and cynical version of you, after you've lived so much life, you might come up with wrong conclusions. Okay, so basically, you know, you got to answer these deep questions. Why do you exist? You know, who is God? What is your relationship to him? What is, what does he require of you? Uh, you know, what is the moral, what is, uh, is there a moral ethic? And if so, um, who determines that? And if God determines that, uh, how should we take that literally? And, you know, people will question it on every single level. And unless you are actually thinking through these things you're, and you're not just depending on other people to tell you these things and you're just believing what other people tell you, you're going to you're going to be a mess if you're not thinking through these things. You're going to be an utter wreck and you're going to deteriorate the further down uh, the road you go. You're not going to, it's not an uphill journey if you're ignoring, um, you know, all the warning signs and you're taking wrong turns and everything. You know, you've got to, to remain on the straight and narrow path, it's a battle, okay? It's not easy. You've got to fight through temptation and heart, and you've got to wrestle past hard truths because not everything in the Bible or in life is easy to understand, okay? But you can't just ignore it. You've got to fight through it. And then to kind of go kind of along the same line, uh, you know, uh, strengthen yourself as a young man, okay? Don't just think that maybe you're a farm kid. I'm a farm kid too. Don't just think that that's enough to strengthen you, okay? As a young person, uh, young man specifically, you have a unique time that you can actually be strengthening yourself, like physically strengthening yourself, you know, and you say, I don't want to go to the gym, I don't want to get like a set of dumbbells or, or whatever, and it's like, no, that's fine, I don't do that either. There's this thing called push-ups. They're miserable, they're awful, but they're really good for you, and they'll build strength unlike anything you do on the farm. I'm sorry, I was swinging an eight-pound mall today, but I still need I still need to get back into push-ups. I've been bad about this, because part of being on a farm, you know, you do have hard work, and the good thing about push-ups is the more push-ups you do, the stronger you get, the more harder the work you can do, which then your work starts to strengthen you because you're doing harder work than you were before you started doing push-ups, and then it's a good cycle, you know? The problem is, once you throw your, start throwing yourself at hard work, there's always more hard work to, that will find you, so when you kind of, you know, fall off in push-ups for a couple months, uh, and then you're like, ah! 
I didn't do push-ups for the last two months. I've got to get down and do push-ups. And you try to tell yourself you're not going to do more than 50. You end up doing 100. And now you're exhausted. And then the next day, it turns out you have to dig a hole. And then it just deteriorates from there. And now you're not doing push-ups again. <laughs> so... So what I'm what I'm saying there is you know strengthen yourself uh, in a practical way uh, so that you can get stronger so that you can do more so that you can uh, protect so that you can uh, work harder um, and so you can serve people better okay um, in a in a practical way and I know and again what what I was saying there was I get it it's hard it can be difficult especially if you live on a farm uh, but you know you really gotta do it. You just got you got to get down and do it. Uh, by the way, I just have to s admit, I when I said 100 push-ups, I don't do them back-to-back. -back. I do them in sets of 10, so I'm not that cool, okay? Just so you know. All right, so basically what I'm trying to say uh, is that, yes, your work is good. Your work builds practical muscles, but so do push-ups. So get down and do some push-ups. And the final point I'm going to leave you with, which I don't know if it's like the key pillar point, it was just like the final point I thought of, uh, learn as much as you can, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, I already addressed learning skills, but also just learn various knowledge. Uh, you know, read good books. Maybe you don't like to read good books. Well, you should anyways. Uh, but also, there's a thing called podcasts. You can you, you are without excuse. You can listen to podcasts while you do all your hard work because you don't have time. You know, all that. You know, I, I, I've been doing a lot of that here recently, um, and it's really benefited me. Uh, I've been, you know, really studying history. Uh, recently, uh, I, I really enjoy studying the uh, early days of like the American Revolution, uh, American government. I think that I, I not only enjoy it, but I also think that's important to understand where we're going at the present time. Uh, but I also just study random things. Like today, I was listening to a podcast on the tower, on the history of the Tower of London. And, you know, what does that have to do with me? I don't know. But it was, it was interesting. And, you know, as I, and as I listen, I learn more. And it actually is applicable to daily life. And you can actually uh, understand more. Uh, the more you learn of history, the better you're going to be able to understand the present times. Because you, can, you can't really understand the present times when you're up, smashed up into them. Because that's where you are. you got to step back, get a little bit of context. Then you might be able to understand them a little better and actually make a change for the better. You know? Uh, so it's, that's kind of what our, I've been going with that. Um, also, you know, you got to make the most of your school. I know that's terrible. I hate school. I've been grinding through it, trying to get, out, get finished with it. But really, when you're in school, make the most of it, you know? You know, you might as well. You might as well not just flunk. You might as well actually make the most of what you're doing. Now, hopefully, if you are uh, as blessed as I was to have a good homeschool education, uh, hopefully you can actually, you know, maybe skip some of those things that aren't important to you and actually focus on things that are important, but really regardless, uh, you know, focus on things that um, are going to help you, um, going to help you with life, and remember that maybe you don't always know what those things are. You can't always recognize those things when you're young, so just, you know, focus on things. Focus on things. And, you know, make sure that when you have an opportunity to learn, go ahead and learn it, because <laughs> it won't hurt you. All right, so that's what I've got for you guys today. Uh, if you've got grievous uh, uh, arguments against what I had to say, if you have uh, been deeply offended, uh, go ahead, leave it down in the comments. You know, I might get back to you. Otherwise, maybe you have something that I missed. Maybe you're older than I, or you've just learned things, uh, learned things faster than I. So, uh, if you got that, go ahead, leave that down in the comments. I would really appreciate your input. Uh, maybe what you've been struggling with here recently. I've been struggling with all of this, just so you know. Oh yeah, and if you do put down what you're struggling with, don't put in the details because this is the internet and the internet is a terrible, dangerous place where people don't like you. Except me. I like you. Okay, I don't know who you are. Anyways, without any further ado, I am Caleb with Nebraska Farm Boy and I will not see you next time. You will see me next time. The camera only works one way. I'm sorry. That's just the way it works. See ya.